I hope that for all women, that they could just look into what's making them think they need to change this one square foot of skin. What would happen if we just continued to become more and more and more ourselves? Hey everyone, I'm Brittany Jones Cooper, and today I'm chatting with filmmaker and author Justine Bateman, whose new book, Face, One Square Foot of Skin, explores beauty standards and aging naturally. Why did you want to talk about women's faces and the things that they do to them on a regular basis. I had Googled my name and there was an autocomplete that said, Justine Bateman looks old. And I was like 40, 41 at the time. And I was like, really? And then I went into this rabbit hole where I read all these things that people were saying. It affected me more than I thought it would and for a longer period of time than I thought it would. Why do we have these sort of anchors in society that women's faces need to be changed? that we have this assumption that a woman's entire self-worth is just this piece of skin that's on their head. You were a teen when you started Family Ties. Mm -hmm. How much did your career in Hollywood impact how you viewed your face? So I don't remember there being a lot of emphasis on that. It was more so an emphasis on who you were, how you carried yourself. We didn't have like a consumer facing internet. There was no social media. And then when I started Family Ties, that was kind of the first time that there was much more attention on my looks. She's so beautiful, she's this and that. And you go like, okay, yeah, I guess, you know, by society standards, I'm attractive looking. But I didn't feel that my face was some sort of, a sort of accomplishment or anything. With the way that you feel, have you ever considered getting work done? I went to a plastic surgeon for the cover of the book. He said, you're a candidate for the works. Cut in on the eyes and, and take these bags away and then take some extra skin away from here and do a little bit of a brow lift and all of this. I mean, but we all could, you know? I mean, I could, but like, what would it get me? Because there are some crappy people online that don't like what they're looking at. Anytime I see comments like this now, I'm like, wow, you're telling me about yourself. You're not telling me anything about me. I wanted to look like all these older European actresses I was watching in these films. Anna Magnani had these like really heavy bags under her eyes. I think it's awesome looking. So I'll, I won't get there if I do anything to my face. I'm just suggesting through this book that a lot of the negative ideas that women have about their own faces just aren't true. So why should we keep them alive inside ourselves? The book ends with uh, a short story from you where you talk about the experiences that shaped your face. And you say, quote, you're looking at satisfaction and happiness. Tell me about your transformation to just embracing yourself. Once I had to have a tooth taken out and I think that tooth's been with me through everything and now it's not. So I think of my face in that way, like it's been there every fun moment I've ever had, every frustrating event I've ever had. And now I'm gonna go, I hate you. I mean, it's not fair, right? At least give yourself an opportunity to get rid of that fear, because otherwise that fear is going to become entrenched and it's gonna stay with you the rest of your life. Well, Justine, I have to say, I think you are one of the coolest and most interesting women ever. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you.